Alright, good morning. Taking the brake booster off. Issue was I rebuilt it a couple weeks ago and it would work fine. Then all of a sudden, the when you push the pedal down really hard to the floor, it would just stay there, the pedal. Um, yeah, it's like it was almost like the vacuum was too strong for it. But what I didn't do, I didn't lube up uh, any of the rubber O rings inside. So I've got some rubber grease. Here we go. Food grade. Hmm. This should work fine. So what I do, I'm going to pull this apart and uh, lube everything up and then see if that works so if if you don't have two people get yourself some clamps all right that'll help Make sure you mark it too, all right? Because the orientation of the bolts, where it lines up with the bracket and the actual master cylinder. So, uh, yeah, might need to paint that again. Obviously the spring only goes on one way. Can't go that way. Go around that ring there. There's another spring internally here. So I'm gonna knock this little uh, bougie whacker off. This is where you lay, lay shit out. Lay shit out as they came off. in the kit you you get all these replacements rubbers everything all right
there's like a retaining part there. Now this, there's two rubber bearings that go in there like an O-ring. They might have gone in the wrong way. Back here, there is a like a dust seal you get, foamy, and there's a like a locking screw in there. You've got to stick your screwdriver in there and keep turning, and the shaft will come out. I believe I might have this O-ring on wrong, so we'll flip it move the other part of the shaft up and then put it back together see how we go So see that screw, and you got to get your screwdriver in there like that, and <laughs> lock it in or loosen it. So I believe that goes first. The plastic. Uh, like washer. Now this is your O-ring. I'm going to lube this up more. Side there. There's, a, there's a few videos on YouTube that say don't rebuild it give it to someone to do yeah well I'm starting to think I probably should have done that so I'm gonna put that groove down And then I'll grab the this lock nut. You can see, see it's sort of bent. I'm gonna put it down that way so it locks in. Just grab the screwdriver and I'll just poke it in. I don't think it has to go down too far. Alright, now this bloke. I gave that a bit of lube as well last time because it was really stiff and dry. So you have to push that in 
that needs to come up as well. And then you start to turn. Try and give you a look at this. There it is in there. So the air actually passes through all those holes when you release the the foot brake. And you see the grooves in there where you gotta get your screwdriver in and turn that, that locking nut. Alright, so that's back together. Um, you will get a new diaphragm, you will use these and these off the old ones. Um, I've lubed this shaft. Now I'll put it back together. Alright, so going off the original, uh, this is a new rubber. This is the new, I don't know what the hell you call this, but like a holder for these plates. The old one had the impression on it of this area. So I know this goes like that. All right, so I wasn't sure if I actually did that correctly. All right, now you have to go down as far as you can. So when you put when you put this washer on, spring. I got a little lost here because I wasn't sure if that was the way it went, but like it might go that way, I'm not sure, but it does fit in there. So that's why I'm leaning towards that way. And then that gets pushed down far enough to put this locking nut in. Oh, this is very, Very tight. Oh, there we go. Stab yourself. Don't. Oh. Right. In the big spring. So. Go that way, it has to go that way. And that's it, I can put the, the lid back on. So, you find our mark here. Get this plate on, uh, the, uh, sorry, the locking in. Maybe I'll lube this as well. Just whack some on there. That did feel a little sticky, that, before. See that? That should go in there too. All right, where are my clamps? So that the 
aim of this is you get a clamp push down push down Make sure you're seated properly. Good thing with that clamp is it just locks in. Hopefully. Doesn't smash me in the face. Okay, we're a little bit off here. Okay, easy. Make sure, just make sure your diaphragm is sitting in the slot before you press it down. I'm still a little bit off here. See the line? The, the rubber's moved, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Got him back there. Yep. Yep, she's all the way in. All right. So for the ring. Tell you what, if, if you buy yourself and you don't have these clamps, freaking hell. do now is we'll check this distance um, because apparently this can move and you you should only have about half a mil gap between this and the master so I'll go measure the master come back all right so I measured the master cylinder and it came to 44 millimeters Sorry, 40 millimetres on the dot. And if I stick this in here. Oh, it's that about straight there. What, what can we see there? Is that 40? It's like 39 and a half. I might, I might extend this a little bit. Uh, I don't know exactly how. I've got to get the vice grips in there. Anyway, I'll get the vice grips. Maybe vice grips in here. And then see if I can turn that. It might be good to mark, actually, where we are, too. I'll take the pen, oh, there's a bit of grease in there, but I think we'll mark that. We'll mark this. Yes. And she turns. Grip that a bit more. How about if I do half a turn? We'll 
see where we are there. I've got to say, it has moved. Let's just do a full turn and leave it, eh? That's just shy of 40. Um, it probably looks like it's higher. I think there's a shadow there, but pretty sure that's just shy of 40 mil. All right, we'll leave it there, get him back on, and hopefully it returns. If, if you spot that I've done something wrong, um, yeah, just let us know where the maybe that small spring shouldn't have gone where it went. That's the only thing I could think of. But anyway, get it back on. Let's see. You know, there's always something you forget to put back on. <sighs> oh, fucking hell. All right, yeah, it's Sunday morning. I'm just out, um, just going down to La Perouse. Um, just for a quick run. That was a nice, uh, great charger down there. Uh, the brakes were fine. They've, they, they're returning. I've been driving for at least half an hour. So, yeah, maybe those rubbers were just getting hot and they weren't lubed. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep cruising a bit because it, it tends to happen after a couple of hours of driving. So, I'll, I'll, I'll just keep busting around a little bit. Touching the brake, comes up fine. 
light light braking's fine. Oh, it seems a bit slow when you go further down. I'll go all the way down. And it's just slow. It's holding the brake on just that fraction. Way better, it's not staying down anymore. Oh yeah, there it is, it's staying down a bit more now. So I'm not sure, man. Um, I'm just gonna leave it like for now. If anyone's got any input, can you let me know? Anyway, I'll see you on the next vid. Take care, like and subscribe. See you later.